welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tutorial on my everyday look that you can see here, which is very natural and super soft. And you guys have been requested it like crazy on my Instagram and I am so glad to hear that you liked it. Before we dip into this video, I want to put out a disclaimer to you. And that is that my video with Liko is finally out on their channel where I am talking about bullying and when I was a teenager. And I will also show you my favorite products from Kerastas and Matrix. So if you want to check it out, I will put the link down below. I will also try to find links to every single product that I have been using in this tutorial and put them in the description box so you can easily find them and try them yourself. So let's get started with this video and if you want to see how I did this everyday look then please keep on watching. So first off I will of course prime my face and today I'm gonna use the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. So this is my favorite everyday primer and why is because it has glycerin in it so it will get sticky so the makeup has something to stick on uh, so it will make the makeup stay on the entire day and it's really affordable as well so I will massage it into my skin until it gets sticky okay so I have a new favorite foundation especially on a everyday basis and it is the MAC Pro Longwear foundation I think I bought this for like one year ago and it will last for 24 months so it's not bad it smells perfectly fine the color is just the same as when I bought it. This has been collecting dust in my drawer for the past couple of months and I really didn't like it at first. I thought it was too yellow for me and I, I don't know, I didn't like the coverage. It was not as full cover as I wanted and I don't know, I didn't like this foundation at all when I first bought it. So for like two weeks ago, I picked this guy out from my foundation drawer and I tried it out and I wore it the entire day and I must say I fell in love with it and since then I have used it every single day and it's almost empty now and I love it so much that I will buy it again. It is a long wear foundation so it will last the entire day especially when you have the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm under. So this one is my favorite foundation and you have to try it. And to get a most natural application I always go for a damp beauty blender to apply my foundation with. And then I like to take a concealer to cover red spots that my foundation didn't cover. And I like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for that. And I take one who is as close to my skin tone as possible. And I blend it out using my Beauty Blender again. So what I always do before I apply my concealer is to color correct under my eyes. And I always go for the NYX Color Correcting Palette. And the shade I am always using is this uh, orange shade and I apply it with my fingers underneath my eyes and why I'm using my fingers is because the heat from the fingers will blend the concealer out so nice and it will look super natural. So for my everyday look I always go for concealer close to my own skin shade so I always go for the Maybelline Fits Me concealer in the shade 10. It is not crazy light for my skin tone. It is a bit lighter so it will just highlight a little bit and it will look super natural. And again I'm gonna blend it out using my beauty blender. So for my everyday looks I don't like to bake, I don't prefer it because I can look really dry underneath my eyes if I bake. So what I like to do is to take my Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder and my Makeup Forever Professional 152 brush so soft so what I like to do is take this brush and some powder and I press it on underneath my eyes and it will not get as much product as it will when you bake with the beauty blender and it will look more natural and what else I love about this powder is that it cancels out your pores like magic. So I'm gonna set the rest of my face using the NYX finishing powder in the shade ivory So when I want to go for a more natural look, I always go for brow pencil instead of a deep brow pomade. 
and I have been obsessing over this new Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. It is so good and it's so tiny so you can do like whatever you want. You can draw some hair strings if you want and it's just amazing. I always set my eyebrows, otherwise it will move around and it will look so messy. So a new favorite of mine is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. So this is a fiber brow gel and I really really like it and it is the color medium brown. So the eye looks I go for for my everyday look is two options or two color options. I always go for the dusty pink one or the brown neutral shades. Since I have done so many pink looks lately, I thought I would do my brown neutral shades today. My favorite palette for that is the Urban Decay Naked One palette and I am always using matte shades. So I will use the Naked and the Buck shade from this palette today. So I go in with a big fluffy blending brush and the shade Naked and I apply it in my crease. Then I take a smaller blending brush and the shade Buck and I will apply it in my crease as well to deepen it a bit more. I am not precise at all when I am doing this shadow. I am pretty messy. I don't care if it's going onto the eyelid or anything. I just want to smoke out my eyes a bit. Then I take a small blending brush and this is the Morphe M506 brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade back again and I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. I only do this. It's so simple, it's so easy, it goes so fast. So if I have 30 minutes to get ready I always do this look. I just smack some eyeshadow on and I love it. So mostly when I am not filming or taking photos, I always go for a more natural and wispy lashes. And my currently favorites are the Your Lashes in the style Stella. They are really nice and it reminds me of the Ardell Wispies. So they are really wispy and so natural and I really like these. They are also very, very easy to apply. So these are my favorite everyday lashes, I would say. So my eyes are done and I'm gonna move on to contour and I have been obsessed with this NYX Love Contours All palette. And the shade I have been using like crazy is the shade and it is called, this is the shade 12. And the brush I have loved to do my contour with when I want a more natural and more soft contour is a big fan brush. And this is from my brush set and it is so good to do your contour with if you want a more natural contour. My new favorite nose contouring brush is the Sueva Lux Face Paint. This is so good to contour your nose with. I love it so, so, so much. And it is a new found love for this guy. So my nose contouring is a bit dramatic right now. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and my Damp Beauty Blender and I'm gonna bake around my nose to clean it up and to soften it a bit more. So it isn't as harsh as it is right now. So I'm gonna let the powder sit and bake for a while and I'm gonna do my bronzer meantime. And for bronzer I'm gonna use my Benefit Hoola bronzer. It is my favorite, it's so bomb. To apply my bronzer I'm gonna use my favorite bronzing brush and this is the Morphe M462 brush. For blush I'm gonna use my NARS blush in the color Madly and I'm gonna apply it with my Sueva 126 brush. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light Scapade as highlighter. This is very subtle and very soft and I really love this on a regular basis. It's so natural and it just brings a sheen to your cheeks and it's so gorgeous. And I'm gonna apply it with my Morphe M510 brush.
Moving on to lips and I always do a nude lip when I am doing a everyday look and that's because I feel more comfortable with nude lips and I feel more beautiful with nude lips and that is just a personal thing. I just love nude lips and I always do that when I am gonna go on meetings or when I'm meeting up some friends or when I'm having dinner and lunch with my boyfriend or whatever it is i always do a nude lip and my new favorite lip liner is the gerard cosmetics lip pencil in sugar and spice this is the most perfect nude lip liner ever on top of that i'm gonna go in with the renegade cosmetics lipstick in the shade 86d i love the formula it's super creamy and buttery and it don't dry out my lips which I love so I'm gonna go in with this on top of the lip liner to create a more of an ombre effect so guys that was actually it for this video I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on my everyday lip that you guys have been requested like crazy I was so glad to hear that and if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!